The right thing to do business-wise is to hold the line at productivity, but start to raise things related to quality, security, availability, and whatnot. Okay, so notice in the word what, um, and other words like why, what, where, you, there are certain regions of the country, and really certain demographics in the country, that will say the H first. You know, we have that sort of a silent H there after the W. Some people will say it as if it's an H-W-A-T, what, what. And they will pronounce an H at the beginning of the word what or where or why. So it's kind of a matter of preference. So there you go. You can choose to say what or, and actually they don't say it quite that obviously. It's more like what, what, um, but I don't. It's just what, what. So Google that if you're interested, but there you go. Next is... We have a culture clash going on here. We have a culture clash going on here. There's a bug in the code that I haven't found yet. There's a bug in the code that I haven't found yet. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. That doesn't take into account overhead costs. That doesn't take into account overhead costs. I'm happy to schedule a time to speak to you if you want a more in-depth discussion about this topic. I'm happy to schedule a time to speak to you if you want a more in-depth discussion about this topic. His joke was right on the cutting edge of being inappropriate. His joke was right on the cutting edge of being inappropriate. He did extensive research on this subject before publishing his book. He did extensive research on the subject before publishing his book. Having power outages last month did not help things. Having power outages last month did not help things. The sight of the famous actor holding a latte on the metro caused the girl to take out her camera. The sight of the famous actor holding a latte on the metro caused the girl to take out her camera. Tell me a little more about this head pain you're having. Tell me a little more about this head pain you're having. We have different metrics to prevent that from happening. We have different metrics to prevent that from happening. Don't forget to read the handouts. Don't forget to read the handouts. What is happening at the truck ramp? What is happening at the truck ramp? Okay, that's all for our practice sentences. I did want to add real quickly that um, depending on your native language, you might tend to emphasize the H in pronouns like his and her, he, uh, much more than we would in America. So, for instance, the sentence is, give that to her. You might say, give that to her. So, 
Just keep that in mind when you're saying those short little H words, her, his, he, him. Um, just the H is barely there, just enough. All right, I hope this helps. If it did help you, please subscribe and have a nice day.